the total linear momentum in an isolated system is conserved. That is uh, the principle of conservation of linear momentum in what's 4.1, right? So let's go ahead and do 4.2 and see what is happening here. Uh, so the first question 4.2.1 calculate the magnitude of the velocity of the trolleys immediately after the collision. So based on the principle of conservation of linear momentum, uh, we know that uh, the sum of the momentum before should be equal to the sum of the momentum after right if that system is isolated so for our case here we have trolley a uh, which is moving to the right and we have trolley b which is stationary and after they collide they move together as one unit right so if we set up our equation here we'll get m1 multiplied by the velocity plus m2 multiplied by its velocity being equals to m1 plus m2 multiplied by vf if you're confused and you can't see what is happening that is because the momentum is equal to the mass multiplied by the velocity so this right here is the momentum for uh, trolley a the momentum of trolley b and the momentum as they move together as one unit right so if we go ahead and substitute we're gonna get 7.2 multiplied by 0.4 we take in direction to the right is positive right plus uh, the mass of uh, trolley b which is 5.3 uh, multiplied by 0 right it was stationary and then this will be equals to uh, 7.2 plus 5.3 multiplied by the final velocity right so if i put 7.2 multiply by 0 0.4 on my calculator uh, i'm getting 2.88 and 5.3 multiplied by 0 that will just be 0 right and that will all be equals to so now i have 7.2 plus 5.3 which is 12.5 so i have 12.5 multiplied by vf right it's easy to see now that i just need to divide both sides by 12.5 so if i divide uh, both sides by 12.5 uh, let me see what i get i'm getting 0 0.2304 meters per second being equals to vf so there we go i have uh, the final velocity of the trolleys immediately after the collision right and 4.2.2 let's calculate the magnitude of the average net force exerted by trolley a on trolley b during the collision if the collision time is 0 0.2 actually 0 0.02 seconds so there's two ways of doing this one you can say that f net is equal to the change in momentum divided by the change in time or you can say that f net is equal to the mass multiplied by acceleration they're all going to work but let's just use uh the first one right if we use this first one uh we know that the change first the change is equal to the mass multiplied by vf minus vi right we're on the same page now we can go ahead and substitute so f net will be equal to uh the mass so let's use trolley b right uh, you can use trolley a you're gonna get the same thing uh, if we use trolley B, we're going to get the mass uh, being equals to, what is the mass again? Uh, 5.3 and then VF is 0 0.2304 and then it's coming from rest. So it's VI must be 0 and we're dividing all that by 0 0.02. Uh, that is uh, the amount of time and uh, the collision uh, two, right and then uh, putting that in my calculator real quick I'm getting 61.056 newtons